Hello and welcome to Mountain Aromatics. Today I think I'm going to be all over the place talking about some different things. Um, one, I'm just a little irritable today and um, I just am so I'm just putting that out up front and center that I'm just a little uh, irritable today. So I hope that does not come across but it is what it is. So I'm going to talk about, start off with two things and I'll probably go on to some other things as well. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is um, a um, Gross, Grossman Accord, G-R-O-J-S-M-A-N Accord, and that there is no um, exact formula. There are different formulas and you can take it in different directions as is all of perfumery. So if you're like, oh my god, what's the formula? There's a general formula and you create it how you want it to be. So I thought I would give you that. Though though I just already hear people like give me what's the exact formula there's just no exact formula so I'm going to give you the general and you can go with it and do whatever works for you and basically it is an accord so it would be part of a formula and um mine is called MA for mountain aromatics um I'm assuming the J is pronounced H, so Grossman, Grossman Accord, that's what I'm going to call it. So the G.A. Grossman Accord, so it's clear. Um, there's not much of an aroma when you smell. It's kind of the point. It's a little bit warm, ambergris, tiny bit. If I say, um, uh... Amber, I mean a very, very light amber. But anyway, so this is in a lot of formulas because of what it does. So here we go. There's four parts to it. Um, the first part is you can choose from like timber silk, or um, ISO E Super. I'm looking around because I'm trying to remember, but it's like, um, yeah, or um, even Silva Amber. So those three, you can choose or use a little of all three, um, that kind of a thing. But that's the first of the four. The second is a soft iris and um, Typically, it is a, um, I think, a beta, and not, I have most of the alpha, alpha irises, and it's not really the alpha irises, because the alpha irises um, are violet forward, like really like violet flowers, and very, very strong. That's not what you're wanting in this. You're wanting a, so the, um, like an iris, um, OA or Iris AO, something like that. That one's a little bit more subtle and woody with just a little bit of iris um, violet flowers in the background, but you want that. So it's very subtle, woody, and I believe that is the betas, like the alpha beta. Um, I mean, not alpha beta, the beta ionone. Um, that's more of what you're wanting. It's more of a subtle wood. Next is going to be Hedione, Hedione HC. Um, one of those, I think a lot of times it's just Hedione because it's just down there. It's not very strong. And it's, of course, again, in this formula, not meant to be. And then the next one is going to be your... Um, like your Galaxolide, your Musk, some type of not strong Musk, not that animalic, um, a kind of a clean 
basic musk with maybe a tiny bit of amber, something like that. So you'd pick one or two or whatever. You just don't want that musk to be strong. You need it to be a clean, like a white musk or a clean musk and one that it's not forward. So when you blend those four together, again, it doesn't have to be four because you could take three that fit in this category, two that fit in this category, two that fit in this category, and two and fit in that category, or one of you, or whatever, but there's just four categories and um, you're like, well, how much of each? Kind of equal amounts? That's where you have to, again, you need to play with that amount. Start with 25%, um, 25%, 25%, 25%, and see how that works for you. I'm just giving you something with to learn and play with. Um, so again, this would make up an accord, and this accord would be part of a formula. And again, mine is just clear. It's not very strong, but it's going to be very lasting. It's going to be a little bit of a fixative in your formula. It's going to give a little bit of some volume to your formula, but not overtake your formula. And it's not going to make it's not going to make it go in a specific direction. This allows very, very clean allows you to go in whatever direction you're wanting to take it, meaning floral, wood, whatever kind of a heart note that you're going for in your formula. But that's what I've been working on and doing and I really really like it a lot. But again, you could do one and then you could smell mine and it would be pretty different, not quite the same because we use different ingredients and different amounts and that kind of stuff. But still, it's pretty basic and pretty they'll all turn out pretty much the same just knowing at the end you want it to be very clean and quiet but it's very lasting and allows you to kind of go anywhere so that's one of the main things I wanted to present today the next thing is I have been working and working and working on a formula <laughs> and I finally got it. It is a sweet pineapple accord and I am telling you <laughs> it is I bought two pineapples a number of days ago almost probably like a week ago I guess and cut it up and I smell the outside smell the inside I ate it all of that kind of stuff and um, while I'm thinking about it I'm gonna pull something from over here really quick okay because I'm gonna go into that in just a minute but this um, pineapple accord smells like juicy sweet pineapple I mean if you close your eyes and just smell it is fresh pineapple my mouth is watering it is the real deal it is amazing and I have worked and worked and worked on it and I have had a number of people because I have taken like a um, I did it down to 20% um, like in a little vial for me to take around with me for how people smell and all of my feedback has been really, really good. And um, sorry about that. Forgot to turn my phone off. So um, anyway, I've gotten a lot of feedback. And I, I'm, I am not changing a thing. So if you are wanting to purchase um, the Sweet Pineapple Accord, get in touch with me. I will have my information below. And I will send that out to you. I can do it in um, like 5 mil or 
10 mil or um, like this in a 15 mil. And, but I'm telling you, it is absolutely perfect. Oh, it is called Sweet Pineapple Accord because it is exactly like if you had fresh pineapple, which I did. I've been eating fresh pineapple every single day. It is, you know how it's still naturally sweet. So that's why I call it Sweet Pineapple um, Accord because that's exactly what this is. So the other thing is, is that... Um, like if you, you know, there's a lot of different things that have the pineapple aroma in it. And one of them is, um, all amyl glycolate. And I'm probably saying it wrong. Ugh, I know Alora is rolling her eyes right now. Oh my God. But all, all, A-L-L, all, A-L-L-Y-L, all, all amyl glycolate. Um, so... When I smell this, of course, this is the, whew, the sharp, like, it just, it makes me, it feels like somebody is just slicing my nose. It is just, it's so sharp, and then there's a green in it, an unripe green. Every time I have my pineapple, I'm eating it, I cannot help but taste this beyond interesting. I have never tasted it a day in my life, but when you smell this, and it's the green sharp thing, and this is even diluted, I, I can, I taste it in the pineapple. It is amazing. It's crazy. Not overall, this is all I taste in pineapple. That's not what I'm saying, but I'm saying this note, this aroma chemical or this actually this is I don't know if this is the natural or not I don't think it's the natural but anyway this aroma chemical I pick up in the real fruit it's amazing it's crazy it just for me makes me excited why because that tells me I am continuing to grow and learn and my nose is continuing to change and develop just like when I used to drink beer at the beginning, and I was like, oh, I don't know, I'll just have beer, whatever, I don't care, I don't know the difference anyway. And when I started drinking craft beer, and I started learning about, I'm a home brewer, but learning beer, my taste changed and moved and moved, and it got more and more refined to now where I really like the darker beer, beers that bring out the caramel and the chocolate naturally from grain, which you people totally get because this is kind of what this, it's the same thing to me. It's just kind of crazy how you can take this and create something with it and it's like, how did you just get chocolate out of that? It's just crazy. But anyway, it's the same kind of thing where our noses are continuing to develop and get more and more refined. That is what happened with me. It showed me and taught me that I'm picking out this one aroma chemical out of the natural pineapple that I'm eating. That's amazing. And I just want to give myself credit and tell you, give yourself credit and a pat on the back that, hey, I am learning. When you pick up things like that, when you are like, oh my God, detect this now. It could be through wine. It could be through chocolate. That's crazy complex. It could be through different foods, that type of thing, through different fruits that you eat. Try to take your time and notice, hey, what am I getting out of here um, that I work with, with perfumery? What, like I just did. Try to do that. And when you do pick out something, you're like, oh my God. And then you go grab the bottle and you're like, mm, that's it. That's exactly what I was smelling. That's crazy. That lets you know you are learning and you are growing and your, um, I was going to say your palate, but um, how your aroma, your sense of aroma is developing. Your sense of smell 
is developing and maturing and broadening. That's probably even a better word, broadening. Like you're picking out more and more individual notes. Just to me, I know I just went off on a tangent, but I did that on purpose because it's so important for you and me that one, that we grow and learn more and be able to develop our sense of smell more but give ourselves credit when that happens and say, hey, I, I was able to pick that out. That's amazing. I want to do that for me, and I want to encourage you doing that for yourself because that is how you'll grow because you'll get more and more excited like, oh my God, I'm growing. Wow, I want to do this some more. I want to learn. So that's why I'm sharing that. That's just super important to me. That's kind of like who I am where I want to help others um, and encourage other people and say, hey, wow, are you noticing that you're growing? Because that's important and really motivating to know that you're growing. So when that happened to me the past number of days, because every time I eat the pineapple, <laughs> I pick this, I can pick it out. It's crazy. That's so awesome and that's so motivating. So, do it. Notice, take the time, stop with what you're eating or drinking or whatever and try to see what are the nuances that you get. It's awesome. Mm. Even doing this video just now has totally changed me and put me in a different space and I'm way better already. Ugh, I love perfumery. Speaking of that, I'm gonna go to my next thing and share with you. I gotta grab it really quick. So the other day, I made the whole one, of, there's a few reasons and a few things that really have motivated me to, to begin and dive into perfumery. The other one is um, like Fur Balsam. Fur Balsam Absolute, you know I love it. Oh my God, it's amazing. Probably the hardest material to work with. Note, difficult to work with. Um, and if you do buy it diluted, do not buy it diluted in oil. I know you probably already know that, but just reminding you, get it diluted in either alcohol, tech, um, that's because it's a natural, I would just stick with those two if you buy it, because there's some places that will sell it to you diluted and it's in fractionated coconut oil, but that's not for perfumery, that's except for roll-on. That's perfect for roll-on perfumery, but that's just note. Anyway, um, I made a, I wanted to make a fur balsam perfume, cologne, fragrance, and I made one the other day, and I wanted it to be front and center, the main heart of the entire fragrance, and I created it, and then I put it in a 15%, um, I made it to a 15%, and then I sprayed it on me. And I'm gonna just be vulnerable right here. I started to cry. Like, I couldn't stop crying. I just started to cry. It was so beautiful. And it just reminded me this is why I do perfumery. Oh, it's so. There you go. I'm gonna do it right now. Oh. It's so Colorado mountains, clean air, and not super airy. I mean, it is definitely heavy, and it is there, and it is like resinous, and it is fur balsam, the absolute fur balsam, the essential oil. I mean, it is just, it is, it's hardcore. It is so dark. Um, if I see it really quick, I'll grab it to show you, but it's just very, very dark. It should be like right here. Hmm. Anyway, um, anyway, you can tell if this is 15%, the whole thing is pretty dark. So anyway, so beautiful. This stuff puts me in a different mindset, 
puts me in a different mindset and is like aromatherapy. It is, it transports me and that is why I do perfumery. That is why I love making this stuff for other people because I want them to be able to make memories and the smell become a memory for them or and or that this transports them and gets them you know out of their head that's not a good thing but gets them into another beautiful space into their happy place it helps them get to their happy place or go to their happy place oh it's so amazing i love it and this one's called rocky mountain number eight Mm, it is why I do perfumery. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. Oh. And I guess the other thing that I'll say is that I just, I feel like I've learned more and more refined my formula process and become better and better and better with my formulating techniques and I'm really excited about that. Really excited about that. Um, it's just very helpful and motivating. And I just hope today is full of motivation. And um, again, I know a lot of you will be like, what the sweet pineapple accord? Telling you, all you people who love Creed here you go this is this is a needed needed ingredient needed material for any of your creed for accords um and then tropical accords all kinds of different directions you can go with the citruses um but get in touch with me if you um because this will not i don't think um this won't maybe i'll put it on my etsy page but contact me directly i will have my information below how to email me and um yeah and i will send that out to you okay and um i take paypal and um all kinds of other things and maybe i'll put that in the show notes below as well so I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you um, on the next Mountain Aromatics. If you like this, give me a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. And I just want to say one other thing that I just, I really appreciate you being here and it means the world to me and I am so happy to be able to give my knowledge and um, my love and my encouragement to you in your path on aromatherapy and perfumery and fragrance creating. So um, I love you guys and I will see you on the next Mountain Aromatics. Have a good day.